Yo, what is up? I am Carlos Harris. I am a full-time entrepreneur, 27 years old, and that's enough about myself because we're here to learn why you should be growing your personal brand. One, if you don't have the iPhone 13, you should probably go get it because this shit is badass and can help you grow your personal brand and uh, basically bump up your content. But today, I am filming a video just kind of off the top of my head, raw, uncut. Obviously, there'll be a, probably a couple cuts in here just in case I like fuck up or something. Um, and something like that, but let's talk about the importance of growing your personal brand and what it can do for you So I've been working for myself for coming up on five years I started off just posting pictures on Instagram like everybody else No intentions of ever going into this as a career It was just something that I like to do because I like to take pictures of my outfits I like to go out and create with my friends and I felt like that was my creative outlet at the time and I just really had fun doing it and five years later, it has become my full-time job, and I now understand the ins and outs of what your personal brand can do from you and what you can actually develop. So building a personal brand, what is a personal brand? Obviously, you are a person, and building your likeliness can lead to other opportunities that can create a lifestyle for yourself and just continuously open up new doors that you can explore and go do countless amounts of things, or I don't know if it's countless, endless amounts of things that can create a lifestyle for you that you've always wanted. So for instance, I started off on Instagram posting pictures. I grew my personal brand and mostly because of football. Back in the day, I played at the University of North Texas. You know, put up some numbers there, did my thing, but didn't really work out as usually sports do or don't for people. And I ended up chilling on my sister's couch for a couple of months and then getting into my blogging and stuff. If you wanna hear more about that, I have other videos Let's talk about it. But I got my first paid opportunity back in 2016, 17 from Puma. I had about 20,000 followers and Puma reached out to me and basically was like, hey, we'll pay you $500 to post a picture on your page. I honestly, full transparency, thought the shit was a scam. I texted my dad and I was like, yo, bro, like Puma just hit me up and said, yo, we wanna pay you to post a picture on your page of these new shoes um, that we have, which I still have those shoes. I should probably get them. Hold on. Well, I couldn't find the shoes, but I know they're around here somewhere. So if I do find them, we will go back and re revisit that topic. So Puma hit me up. I ended up shooting for Puma and I was like, yo, like this is crazy that people are paying people to post things on Instagram. And at that time, nobody was really into the blogging aspect of things. And I just kind of took it as like, okay, cool. Like I got paid for this. Didn't take it too seriously. But as I continued to reach out to different companies and had companies reach out to me, I started to understand what the hell a personal brand was and what the hell it could do for you. So getting reached out to by multiple companies like Sky Vodka and things like that, I started creating more and started building a platform for myself that ultimately led to a career path that I'm now on. So taking those steps and the importance of building that is fucking insane. And the way that you go about it is figuring out what you love and the direction that you wanna take. My direction was fashion. I stayed in the fashion lane and then ultimately started branching out to lifestyle, fitness, travel, and all those other things because you should always just try to expand. But the first step is understanding what people are coming to your page for. Why do people like you? Take a second, write down, pause this video, and write down why do people follow you? Is it for motivation? Is it for entrepreneurship? Is it because of your makeup? Is it because of the travel? Is it because of the type of pictures that you take? Whatever it is, figure that out and stick to that shit. Consistently stick to it. Form a plan for yourself of how you're gonna develop your personal brand to new heights and study other creatives. There's a difference between studying and copying other people. Studying other people is taking time to analyze their page, see what works for them because they may be in the same niche as you, and taking some of that information, going back and applying it to your personal style of photography, makeup, fashion, whatever it is. You can take blueprints from other people and create your own blueprint. There's nothing wrong with that, but there's something completely wrong with stealing things from other people because you do wanna be your own person because at the end of the day, the topic is building your personal brand. So once you figure that out, it's all about consistency putting out quality content. You don't wanna put out shit that isn't of value to other people or something they can't get anything from. So nowadays, we live in a world where everybody can fucking dress because 
the world's just easy to dress. You got fast fashion, you got alternatives that look like high-end things. What else can you do outside of just dressing nice to entice someone to keep coming to your page? And that's one thing that I learned building my personal brand is adding value to what I already have. So for me, fashion. If you don't follow me on Instagram, my Instagram is Carlos D. Harris Jr. I do fashion, entrepreneurship, motivational things, and stuff like that. So there's always a starting point, as I talked about. The starting point for me was fashion. The reason people come to my page and aesthetically want to stay on it is one, the fashion aspect. But as you get to know me as a person and as you start to watch my stories and as you just follow me for years at a time and have seen my growth, you understand that the fashion really isn't like my like main focus. My main focus is on making you be the best version of you, whether it's waking up early in the morning, going to the gym, motivating you to get spiritually better, mentally better is something that I've started to talk about a little bit more because I've dealt with um, mental health issues, anxiety, stuff that people can relate to. Those are things that add a value to someone's life versus like, oh, Carlos, you have on a nice outfit, which is cool, but at the end of the day, outfits, everyone and their mom can dress nowadays. All they gotta do is go on the internet, put something together, boom, have their friend take a photo because again, these things right here are basically DSLRs and you're kind of going to just, I guess, damn, you're going to just stick. You're not going to stick out. You're just going to fit in with everybody else that's on Instagram. So figuring out what value you can bring someone is ultimately going to skyrocket your personal brand and be able to open up different opportunities. So as I grew my following on Instagram, I started to think outside of the box and how I could use my likeliness to create another career for myself. So as I continuously grew my personal brand in the fashion aspect, the entrepreneurship aspect, and the entrepreneurship aspect came as I became an entrepreneur. So I took people along my journey. And that's something that you should think about too. Letting people in on your journey. People want to see the ins and outs. If you just show them the end result, no one can ever grasp like, okay, what did it take to get there? What did this person do on a daily basis? How did they structure their life to get to where they got? People want to know these things. And the more you let them in on that, the more they're going to be in tune with your life, loyal, and become lifelong followers. No one wants to be like this ghost person that no one knows shit about and then they can't even relate to you and you're just another person, again, that can dress on Instagram. Let people in. Like We all deal with different things. We deal with anxiety. We deal with mental health issues, with social media being one of the reasons why people have a lot of mental health issues, and I've talked about that. But there's always something that someone can relate to, and if you throw up a post, that might motivate another person to change their fucking life. I've seen multiple times where people have hit me up and be like, yo, bro, like that story post really meant something to me or like um, a tweet or something that I put out that really touched me or me just sharing like what I'm going through at the moment can help someone else. So being vulnerable and being open with other people is, gonna, is gonna ultimately grow your personal brand and build a connection with your audience. I feel like a lot of people miss that connection aspect with their audience because they're too focused on making sure that like no one can really tap into their life. But at the same time, I feel like the thing that people really respect, and I'm speaking on like my personal experience, is me sharing my life. From one, sleeping on my sister's couch, to damn near being an alcoholic, going out drinking, doing stupid shit, and transitioning my life to a more of a structured feature. I'm not like a perfect person whatsoever. I still have a lot of stuff that I deal with internally and I'm still working on those things and people are able to see the progress that I've made and tap into that. So not to like dive too far into that because I know I can talk a lot, but being relatable. Being relatable is going to ultimately build your personal brand and build a loyal audience. A loyal audience like on YouTube, people are loyal on YouTube. People on Instagram bounce the fuck around and find new people all the time because like it says in the title, it's very instant. You come to YouTube to sit down and get value from things, to learn things, and this is just more of a viewership platform that I feel like, one, you should go your personal brand on here too, as well as Instagram, TikTok, and whatever platforms that there are, and just continuously relate with people. On top of relating and doing those type of things, you gotta put out quality shit. If you got a camera, a DSLR, cool, 
if you have an iPhone 10 or up, that's great. You don't need a DSLR to have great photos. It's all about figuring out what your angles are, the best lighting, and then editing your content. So putting out that quality content is going to boost your personal brand and grow you to new heights. And building those personal relationships with the brands that you work with long term goes further than doing one-off partnerships. I can't preach that enough. Let me repeat it. Building relationships with brands long term is way more important than doing one-off partnerships because you want long-term money versus the short little like cash they're gonna throw you. I would rather make $30,000 from a company over the course of the year than get like $10,000 for one post. I'd rather have consistent money coming in and that's what comes with building your personal brand and building those relationships with those people. See, this is why I should've turned off my phone. My boy Ron calling me. Hey nigga, I'm filming a YouTube video. You ugly, you in the middle of my shit. Call your back. After you have established yourself and figured out exactly what type of niche and what your audience comes to you for, now it's time to expand. Expand to new opportunities. So with my personal brand and building a presence for myself on social media, I am now at 136,000 followers. I started a marketing company. And I started a marketing company that was fueled by my personal brand. I got my first client because of what my page aesthetically looked like. I had no case studies. I had no experience in doing other people's content versus just doing my own. But again, they looked at my personal page and was like, okay, if this guy can do all this high quality content for himself, why can't he do this for my business? So I got an opportunity to get my foot in the door with a company called Grab a Green. They are a chain um, restaurant. I worked with the individual owner and we ended up getting our first food client executing for them. Did I make a ton of money off of that? No, but it was my foot in the door to get myself and my portfolio built in a new field just from building my personal brand and having a presence on social media. I know a lot of people are like, well, I'm not a social media person and blah, blah, blah. That's cool. That is great and all fine and dandy. But the world that we live in, the first thing that people look for is, hey, what's your social media? Whether it be a model casting, blah, whatever it is, people want to know who you are and what type of presence that you have online. So focusing on that, it's like an online portfolio. Build your portfolio so when someone comes to your page, bam, instantly, they don't have any questions that you can go do the job. So he looked at my personal page, I got the job for that, and ended up getting the next door neighbor, which if you guys are familiar with um, Pure Bar, Pure Bar is a nationwide thing, they do like the bar work and all the rest of that stuff. We ended up working with that individual owner down in Dallas, Texas too, in Addison, and getting another client. All this shit stemmed from my Instagram. And a lot of people back then didn't understand why I took Instagram so seriously or why I took social media so seriously. It's because I saw a vision for myself down the line based on what I could grow for myself personally. People will trust what you have going on the more you build your, your personal brand. You don't have to explain yourself to companies, if they can just go to your page and see, okay, this person did this work with this company, they've done this work with this company. Imagine me walking into an interview and they look at all of our social medias. I've worked with Nike, Foot Locker, Puma, uh, Reebok, whatever it is, and this is like a, a, a Foot Locker job that we're trying to get or some shit. And you walk in, you show your social media, and there's nothing on there, and you haven't shown anything, and it just, Basically, it's just some bullshit on there. I'm gonna get the job because my personal brand is better than yours. As, as shitty as that seems, my personal brand outweighs yours, I'm getting hired, and that's the importance of it. People lose out on jobs just because they don't have a personal pres presence. Now, if you're building a company, a lot of people like to be behind the scenes, but the great thing is, if I build my personal brand, it's going to flow over to my company, which leads me back to my marketing company. I've built personal relationships with brands like RTA. RTA used to send me just regular clothes. I used to rock it. I ended up meeting um, the owner, Eli and David in LA maybe like uh, six months ago. Sat down, have a conversation with them. We shot their men's um, fall, winter 20, and then we shot their men's fall, winter and women's 21 this year. And you wanna know why? It's because of my personal brand. I was able to one, build that relationship with them, and then two, 
have that type of mutual respect and that trust that I'm gonna go out and execute what I need to do just based on the work that I've shown them and shot on my personal page. So again, your personal brand will take you a long fucking way. And here's another example. I have a photography studio. My photography studio is fueled by who I am. It started off as a co-working space and I was able to fill about 90% of the office spaces just based off posting things on my personal page and people believing in what I had going on. So had I not had a personal brand and I just go start a business, people really aren't tuned into that. They wanna know who they're supporting. I like to support designers who I know personally, who I can feel and connect with. Those are gonna be the long-term gains that you get from growing a personal brand versus just like not doing shit and just trying to start a company. I feel like they go hand in hand. Yeah, you can have a successful company without being a known person whatsoever, but it's a lot easier. Just look at these celebrities, like just for example, Kylie Jenner and, and Kendall, blah, blah, blah. They start things, or Kim Kardashian, they start shit like skims. Bro, that shit is spandex, spandex. Imagine your friend starts the same exact shit 10 years before, gets the same color palettes, the same quality, all that shit, and just tries to go out and sell it without having a personal brand attached to it, they're not gonna sell shit. The reason the Kardashians sell shit is because of who they are and the personal brand that they built for themselves. So focusing on building a presence for yourself and making a, a name for yourself in whatever field that you're in is one of the most important things to starting your career path or just building businesses in general. I've seen success in it. I've seen my friends have success in it. It just all comes full circle and it's something that people really, really have to focus on um, and they don't want to do it because it's a lot of work. It's not easy building a personal brand. It takes time, effort. It takes years of work and it's even harder now because everyone's trying to do it. Luckily for myself, I got in the game kind of early and was able to, you know, hit the ground running and shit, but it's not to say that you can't jump in the game and you have a different angle that you want to approach with this whole building a personal brand and then taking it to new heights um, and then building your companies as well. But I honestly think that a lot of people really, really just miss this part of it and it kind of tanks them from growing to where they could potentially grow. I still have a lot of work that I have to do um, as far as expansion because I've seen myself get content in some areas because I have built a personal brand for myself, but I don't feel like I've tapped into everything. I have a lot of information that I should be giving, whether it be courses, getting on YouTube more, talking to you guys and just doing these raw videos where I don't have no fucking script and I'm just going off the top of the head. So if it seems all over the place, I'm sorry, but I hope that you got some type of value out of this and understand what a personal brand can do for a person and propel new business ventures that you want to do um, when it comes to life. So. Focus on those things and really, really just sit down and be like, okay, so what do I want to be known for? What do I want to be remembered for? Because at the end of the day, people only remember you for shit that you really put out. As sad as it is, again, people really judge you based off of your fucking social media and what you've actually achieved. Uh, you can be a great person. You can do all these, you know, great kind things in life, but at the end of the day is what have you had for me? What have you done for me lately? Bringing value to a person's life and adding value to a person's um, life is super, super important. And just focus on that. Build your fucking personal brand. I want to see everyone kill it. I need to work on not cussing so much because I probably dropped a couple of F-bombs in here. But that's okay because I'm just here to talk, give people information, and really just be myself. So until next time, hit that like, subscribe button, share this video with a friend, and just go build your personal brand and build businesses that will last lifetimes based off of people loving you for who you are versus putting on any persona um, that people just want to see. Be authentically you. Be 100. Who gives a fuck if you got to cry on camera? Who gives a fuck if you got to be depressed on camera? Show the world. Because there's someone out there that can relate to it, and there's someone that is gonna be a lifetime follower or a lifetime customer 
based on you connecting them with a personal experience. So until next time that we get to chat and talk, I will see you guys and go like and comment, subscribe again, like I said, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.